Hello, welcome to another video. So today I'm looking at this uh, Utilitech bulb again. Uh, this is another bulb, uh, same style as the one that failed on me in my garage. This one was in a, uh, a bathroom light fixture. This is a suitable for damp locations, not for use with dimmers, it was not on a dimmer. And uh, this bulb has started flickering, so I uh, went ahead and removed it and figured to plug it in and take a look at it. See if we can see the the effect that it's been having. Seems like it's working okay right now. About 8.3 watts, so it's in its normal range. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, terrible power factor. That's to be expected for this. It's a, it is a capacitive dropper in there. So I think one of the things that might be interesting with this is to just do a thermal image of it. Just a kind of a time lapse and see if that's... Um, see how hot this thing actually gets. I know these is using regular LED chips, so maybe that's... Part of the problem is that it's getting too warm and just failing prematurely. So this one, this one, what happens is after a while it starts to flicker intermittently. So it's still working right now, but it, it's it flickers enough that it's actually annoying. You can see it just after a couple minutes, we're already around 37C on the outside of this. I'm gonna leave that running for a little while. See how hot it gets. I'll check it again in uh, five minutes and we'll see where we're at. All right, so it's been five minutes and here's the thermal image. You can see it's getting pretty toasty already around 62 62 degrees C on that surface 63 degrees C so it's still it's not thoroughly not at thermal equilibrium yet and it's still rising um, it's getting pretty warm and you know of course you have to consider that this thing's transferring the heat out from those LED chips on the circuit board through the circuit panel and then out to the side and then down to this casing 65 and rising check it again in a few minutes Okay, so 10 minutes in now, and we're looking at over 70 degrees C. That surface is now too hot to touch. You can see how, see when I touch it, I actually maybe a little bit of a cold spot on it. But yeah, that thing's getting really hot. So I think next I'm going to pull the dome off this one, and uh, we'll take a look at the inside and see if we can get a temperature on one couple of the chips in there and see how hot they're really getting. So these are sitting around, so 72 at the heat sink. It's got to be hotter than that on the chip itself. This is only after 10 minutes, so if you leave this thing on for a long time, it's bound to fail. All right, so there's a few things we have to look at for LEDs and their thermals. Um, one thing is there's going to be a lot of heat generated by the actual LED die here, and then that heat has to transfer through a bunch of things to get down to a heat sink. And they have a little calculation here showing you know the power is being generated and you have a junction temperature and that has to go all the way down through to the heat sink and then eventually to the ambient temperature the LEDs got to at some point get all that heat out and so that's one of the difficulties that we're looking at here with this particular product is it, it has a hard time getting all that the heat out so here we see a graph and this is showing um, performance so a white LED is the black line here and we can see that you know around 25 degrees you get 100 percent output and where this led is being operated which is over 100 degrees c for a junction temperature it's probably closer to this 120 degrees c really you can see it's somewhere in the 70 percent relative light output range so it's it's being driven really hard and then finally we have a just a little thing here from an led and they say at case temperatures greater than 105 degrees c the LED will fail within a relatively short time, potentially approximately 2,000 hours, which is about what I'm seeing out of these LED bulbs. So 105 degrees C, this is saying case temperature, but it's that, that's the temperature I'm measuring around the LED with the thermal camera, not necessarily on the heat sink itself. So maybe it's just a poor bonding between the two because the LED you know, package itself is getting up to over 100 degrees C. Uh, the actual junction temperature is going to be significantly higher than that. We can't measure that with a thermal camera because it it can't it doesn't have the resolution to really see the the true junction temperature. Plus, there's a a layer of phosphor in front of that, so we're not actually looking at the junction temperature. So they have here, you know, just some some general ideas for some LEDs, and you can see that, you know, case temperature 105 degrees C, you know, it's going to lose brightness. Yeah, about 70 percent brightness is what we saw on that other graph. Um, but yeah, this this right here, this highlighted text is really the most important thing. It's case temperatures greater than 105 degrees C, LED will fail short time. So this thing's basically just 
a regular bulb. Yeah, it uses less power over that time when it's uh, operating, but it's still going to fail quickly because it's being overdriven. And so now this is the second of these LED bulbs that I have had fail. All right, so the dome has been removed. We got our lamp on here and I'm able to put that up to the thermal camera and we can see what kind of temperatures we're getting. You can see our LEDs are sitting around max we got on there is about 96, 97 degrees. So the middle of the board is what we're looking at for the cursor there and that's only showing 70, 70s or so. But each of the actual LEDs themselves, if we get near one of those, we can see that's showing a much higher temperature. And as we get in closer, because there's such fine points of heat, you can see that temperature shoot up at each one of those LEDs. So yeah, you can see they're, they're sitting around 100 degrees C, so they're pretty hot. So that's the basics of it. If it's 100 degrees C on the actual chips themselves, that's the temperature that's the heat that has to get dissipated away. It's getting about 70 C on the outside of this, which is hot, still very hot. Um, and that's a little bit, a little bit too much for the, the LEDs to handle, I think. So they're, they're being driven pretty hard. I think that's what's causing some of these LED bulbs to prematurely fail. And like I say, this one works most of the time, but then after a little while, it'll start flickering. Once it gets hot, it's on for a little while. Uh, check out my other LED bulb series if you want to, you know, see a little bit more about this bulb. So I did have one of these fully fail, and I went through and tested it, uh, fixed it, and actually did the schematic for it and everything. So that was actually the first video on this channel. I'll leave a link to that somewhere on the screen here. And then, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.